Is there something about you that you allow you to hold you back? If so, you might find something really, really valuable in this video. Hi friend, Kathleen Cameron here chief wealth creator and founder of Diamond Academy. We specialize in manifestation and law of attraction for purpose-driven entrepreneurs. I wanna thank you for tuning in and for subscribing. If you haven't already done so, why don't you do that now and click the bell to get notified of any new content that will come throughout the week. Since I was a little girl, I have been very aware that my body is different from the normal or thin body. And so what that meant for me was a uh, continuous up and down of diets and weight loss programs and products and exercising and deprivation. I remember when I was seven years old, somebody told me that I shouldn't eat that cupcake at that birthday party while every other child there sat and enjoyed a cupcake. And so what was the message that I was continuing to hear over and over again? that I needed to change my body. I needed to become smaller. I remember for 35 years, maybe 36 years, on my birthday every year, I blew out that candle. And the thing that I wished for the most was that I was skinny. I wish that I was skinny every single year. My lowest point in my life when I was 37 years old, I decided that I was going to lose weight for the last time. I was going to shrink my body and I was going to be proud of myself. I lost 102 pounds in 11 months. The praise was overwhelming. Everyone was so proud of me. They told me how much of an inspiration I was. And I started feeling for the first time in my life that I was a confident woman. But something happened. I pushed myself to the limit. I was seeking so much to meet other people's standards that I was willing to push my body to places that were truly unhealthy. And I ended up with a condition where I was fainting three to five times per week. My heart couldn't keep up with the drastic weight loss that it had endured over the past 11 months. And so I was told to eat more, to stop exercising. I had to go off on short-term disability. I had my driver's license taken away and I was stuck in my home by myself all day. And then the weight started coming back on and it came on really, really fast. What also came was a feeling of failure. I had received so much praise, so much recognition, and I felt like an absolute failure. I was inspired by being thin, and I had inspired others by becoming thin. And here I was, again, in a bigger body, having gained every single pound back. When I gained all the weight back, and I was back up to the biggest size I'd ever been, I started to work on me and I started to work on how I saw me and I had an aha moment. I realized that I determined my self-worth based on the size of my body. I thought thin was better and not more healthier, but better in appearance, in beauty. And I contributed successful people to being thin people. And so what I realized is that I was chasing an ideal and I was never gonna be happy with myself. And I started to ask the question, why is thin better? Why do I believe that shrinking my body will help my relationships, will help my confidence, will help my business grow? And I started to question many other beliefs related to me in this world around me. And I started to tell myself that I am beautiful now. I started to tell myself that I can be successful now. And I started looking at other plus size females who had been very, very successful. And what I noticed is that they inspired me. 
and I thought, what would it be like for me to be a curvy woman, to do something phenomenal and show other curvy women who maybe have a little bit of a bigger size body that they don't have to shrink themselves to achieve success. And so I stand here in front of you today with having just accomplished the most success in my life. And I love myself today for who I am in this body that I am in. And I am so proud that I did not shrink myself to other people's standards to be able to achieve the success that I've always wanted in life. It came literally from the inside out of me. And now I exude confidence and pride for the women that I am today. And for every single woman that messages me and tells me that I proved them wrong. You do not have to be thin to be successful. So how can my story help you? Whether you are someone in a curvier body or not, it does not matter. What I am talking about to you is one of my limiting beliefs. So what limiting belief do you hold about yourself that is keeping you from achieving success? It could be the level of education, the amount of experience or money you have, where you grow up, where you grew up, how tall you are, how short you are, whatever it is. How can you change how you see that part of you and make it an asset instead of a liability? This will change everything for you. I see it time and time again. If you have enjoyed this video and you think that it could help someone else in your life, I would encourage you to share it with them. You never know what a difference you can make by simply sharing this message with them. I also want you to stay tuned because we have something very exciting coming on Monday. I'll see you later and thanks for watching. With gratitude, Kathleen.